Okay. You know, I... Uh, let me explain how this came about. Lots of people keep suggesting an ammo tier list. Now, as you can see, there are only six ammo types in the entire game. And this being an absurd idea, I figured, all right, you know what? If one person can comment on, on, on this daily video, this is when I brought this topic up, get 200 likes on it, I'll do this. And that happened. That's, that happened. So let's explain a couple of things right off the bat. As you can see in the description, there is no such thing as sniper ammo. In fact, if you go to your backpack, we got energy cells, explosive ammo, heavy bullets, light bullets, medium bullets, and shells and slugs. They're not even called shotgun shells because there are exceptions to this rule. The boom bow is a notable weapon that actually is a bow that fires shotgun shells. And then you get weapons like the super shredder where a lot of people seem to think it's a shotgun because it shoots shells and it sprays like a shotgun but it's actually a sniper. And there are lots of different weapons that use medium, light, heavy ammo. People have requested I do the best weapons for light ammo, medium, etc. I can kind of understand that because if you look at the ammo, all of these actually cost the same. Uh, you can see it on the right hand side. I know my overlay is covering this a bit. I do record these on stream, Twitch link down below, but you can see they all cost the exact same. For heavy bullets, you get 10 for that same cost. For medium, you get 40. And then the light bullets, you get 60. So you're actually spending the same amount for less bullets. But typically, it's not a hard and fast rule, but typically heavy bullet <laughs> weapons, it's true a wall rate, they do hit a little bit harder. They are the stronger weapons generally. And then weapons that use light bullets are typically the faster spraying weapons. Like the Nocturnal, for example, is a fairly high fire rate, low damage weapon. Now the Nocturnal is incredibly strong, but you can kind of see where I'm going with this. But considering the sheer amount of different weapons that use these different ammo types, there's really no way to rank it, but I'll do my best. I'll do my best. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, first and foremost, energy cells are typically used by the best weapons in the entire game. However, some of the worst weapons in the entire game are also locked to energy, spraying away energy cells. You have weapons like the Xenon Bow, which is not... Okay, I don't believe there is a best weapon in the game, but the Xenon Bow, generally speaking, performs almost in all areas among many of the others. I will not call it the best weapon in the game officially, in my opinion, but... The community has sort of selected it as the de facto best weapon. I, that's for sure. It's used as a standard. But then, in that exact same category, you have the Noble Launcher, which just does terrible damage and blows away all your energy cells. So, while I want to put it in S tier, if I want it to be representative... I mean... I, I'm sorry, Awari, but if I want it to be representative of the entire class of weapons that use energy cells... I gotta put it in A tier. And then if you even want to factor the cost of energy cells and, you know, the batteries necessary, it practically might be in B tier. I'm gonna put it in A tier though, because I think farming batteries isn't isn't too bad. But uh but yeah. Now shotguns. I'm gonna skip ahead to shotguns. No, nah, we'll save it. It's too interesting. Heavy bullets, typically used by snipers, while certainly not exclusively. Notable examples are like the Jack's Revenge, you know, hits very, very hard, uses, I believe, heavy ammo. Wouldn't it be funny if in this one video I actually got that wrong? Again, I don't look at ammo types that often, so this is not something I even think about. It does use heavy. So one of the hardest hitting weapons in the game uses heavy, but you're not shooting very fast. There's not a lot of area of effect on that. There's not a lot of recovery. So I'm going to put it in, I'm going to put it in A tier. I think that's fitting. I think some of the weapons that use this, this ammo type are incredibly strong. Then you've got the medium ammo, where some of... I, I know I'm going to say this a lot, because some of the best weapons in the game use every ammo type, but some of the strongest ARs, in fact, if I can actually sort, believe it or not, use small ammo. So while you have some notable, like, okay, I guess the drum roll's pretty strong, candy corn sucks, hardest hitting, actually, if you take the reload time, highest DPS is the Blizzard Blitzer, but a lot of the best ARs are using light ammo. Believe it or not, Bundle Buzz, Hacksaw, you know, Gravedigger uses heavy, it's a bit interesting, got the, the, the Pain Train at, at light ammo, Nocturno, Siege Breaker, light ammo is the one that you would not expect to be most popularly used by ARs, but it is. And SMGs also use light ammo a bit more. So in this case, medium ammo seems to be the most basic. I'm going to put it in B tier. 
I think you got some strong winners there, but a lot of them are just sort of LMGs or, uh, you know, SMGs. Are there any pistols that use medium ammo? I would have no idea. I don't know. But light ammo on that on that note. I, I'm sorry. Hey, Walry, I should have turned that off. I'm sorry, you guys. In fact, check this out. I made a button for it. I can just go to my channel points and then just boop, turn that off. Also, that I need to go back to. All right. <laughs> I didn't, I, I didn't realize you guys would see it. There we go. Sorry, Walry. You're not going to be interrupting the rest of this video. I want to focus on light ammo because light ammo, I think it is mostly used by SMGs and really high DPS ARs. So we're going to stick that, we're going to stick that in S tier. I think that's a fair place to do it because light ammo is the cheapest to get, yet you do spray more of it than anything else, but it's super easy to get. It's the cheapest ammo type. It's, it's associated with some of the strongest weapons and it's easy to loot. You get a lot of it from ammo anomalies, trolls, searching the ammo crates. So I think that's a good position for it. And I mentioned shotguns again. I'm gonna skip ahead and now nah, I'm just gonna save it till the end. Rocket ammo. I'm also gonna put this one in S tier. Realistically, there are really not any bad rocket launchers if we actually pull up the game once again and scroll down to the rocket section i hope i'm even going in the right direction because i honestly have no idea i don't really think there are any bad launchers the pot shot is awesome the thumper is a little lower damage but it's still good shark attack like all launchers use rocket ammo or energy ammo and that is definitely a huge win for those ammo categories and i, I can't think of any launcher here that's like bad like even the Desa blaster in the right situation is great dragon's fury the dragon weapons are pretty bad but those lingering fireworks do a ton of damage so realistically i can't think of any scenario where you're like i can't think of any scenario where you're using rocket ammo and you don't really want to be i know that a lot of a lot of rockets shoot three rockets at once it's not exactly fair but I still think because of the, the sheer damage you get out of rocket ammo, I'm putting in a, a squarely in S tier. This doesn't really have any ordering, by the way. It's just kind of there. Shotguns. Shotguns I'm saving to the very end because, again, similar to rocket ammos, there are very, very few bad shotguns. Where there were no bad rocket launchers, there are very few um, bad shotguns. They exist. The dragon shotgun, the dragoon, in terms of damage, there are a lot of stark defenders of this weapon, but I'm... <laughs> well aware of how it performs a lot of the best shotguns are are really 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 good um some of the highest dps weapons in the game and they use shotgun shells extremely efficiently and i think for that reason considering how pretty easy it is to get shotgun shells i almost never end up crafting it you just run around looting it i want to put it in s tier as well i think that's a square place again i call them shotgun shells even though i'm harping on people for calling heavy ammo sniper ammo they're they're slugs and shells that's it's basically shotgun ammo. you know what it doesn't matter Still, still, I think it's worth an S tier slot, and somehow we're eight minutes into a freaking ammo tier list. I thought this would be an incredibly short video, but if you think about it, by covering the different ammo types, we are kind of generalizing all of the ranged weapons in one video. So, typically, I guess if you're going to go off of my tier list, light ammo weapons are S tier. That's not how that works, by the way. You can't, you can't reverse engineer this. But it's kind of, sort of, how you can look at it. So, there you go. I thought energy ammo would be S tier, but realistically, a lot of ammos like to waste energy ammo, and it's expensive. Or a lot of weapons like to waste energy ammo, and it's expensive. So, there you go. You guys got an ammo tier list. Comment down below, because it seems like I'm just going to make a tier list for everything. Realistically, though, you guys seem to enjoy these. Some of the dumbest tier lists have... A really, like, over 10,000 views. That's a lot for me and my current state of YouTube. So shoot keep them coming uh comment down below what you guys want to see next thank you guys so much for watching and i'll definitely see you in the next one